G'day folks, Damon from Nomad. I just want to give you a quick run through on the range of Nomad rods. Now, the first thing to mention with the range of rods is that we have purpose designed all of these rods to do a specific job. Now, we haven't designed them to a price point. We haven't said, hey, we're gonna do four different ranges of rods to do the same thing. We've literally gone out and said, look, we're gonna make the best rod for each application and at the end of the day, it's kind of going to cost what it costs. Now, we're obviously trying to make sure that these rods are as cost effective as they can be, but we've literally made the best rods that we feel for the application. Now, I've spent a lot of years on charter fishing with all of these type of rods that we've made from the offshore spin rods, slow pitch jigging rods, uh, the standard jigging rods, even the lighter inshore spin rods. These are rods that literally been using for 25 years and seen pretty much every rod made in that space over a long period of time and we've seen them in action, in use and we've learned what works and what doesn't work. So with that in mind, I want to talk you through, uh, first of all, the range of heavier offshore spin rods. So there's four rods in that range. Now we've got a rod that's perfect for popper fishing, which is the eight to 10. We've got a five to eight, eight foot three rod, which is designed as our heavier stick bait rod. Then we've got a PE four to six rod, which is also designed as a combination stick bait popper rod, a little bit lighter. And then we've got a seven foot four PE two to four, which is you know, really, it was designed with the MADSCAD 115 in mind. It's the perfect rod to use for, you know, 40, 50 pound braid for fishing MADSCAD 115s or any of those kind of stick baits. Now, what we've done with these rods is we've designed the blanks to really have a parabolic action. Now what we're trying to achieve here is a mixture between um, casting distance and uh, lure action and also fighting the fish. Now to be honest, the primary function of these rods is casting distance and working the lure. Now obviously they've got to be able to fight fish and they've got to be comfortable for fighting fish and the parabolic action gives you that. But what we've done with the blanks is we've developed a, uh, a blank where we're using a, a 45 degree spiral wrap technology. So we've called this the Helix 30T 45 degree that we're using in the heavier uh, spin range. Now it's a 30 ton uh, carbon that we're using. It's all Japanese Torre carbon that we're using in these rods. And the way that they're laid up is what gives you the action. Now, this is not a typical action that some people might be used to. What you'll find with these rods is they're typically a little bit stiffer in the tip, but they've got a more parabolic bend. So when we talk parabolic, we're talking that the rod bends all the way from the tip, all the way through the foregrip, and in some of the rods, even in the slow pitch range, they're bending through the reel seat. So when you're fighting the fish, you're actually using the entire rod to fight the fish. With a lot of, I guess, older technology rods, you might have a rod where it's really soft and noodly. Well, I call it noodly in the tip anyway. Um, they're just not nice to use for, for lure casting. So you might end up with a rod that's got a, a soft tip and then at some point in the middle it locks up and the butt section is really stiff. Now, to me, those sort of rods are terrible for lure fishing because they don't cast very well, they don't fight fish very well and you've got no tip in the rod to work the lure. So if you're using a popper, you obviously want a rod that's got a stiffer tip. If you're using a stick bait, you want a rod that's got a slightly softer tip so that it, you know, it flicks back and it works the stick bait. So all of these rods have been designed with a particular purpose in mind and to work the lure exactly how it needs to be worked. So that's the offshore spin range. I'm just gonna talk you through the slow pitch jigging range. So we've got a range of slow pitch jig rods that go from your six foot eight um, overhead slow pitch jig uh, down to uh, shorter uh, six foot two, six foot three options in the overhead and the spin. Now, typically with these slow pitch jig rods, you might expect that the tip is softer. Now, you'll find, you know, there's, there's numerous other slow pitch jig rods on the market where they've got a softer tip and they're not as parabolic as these. Now, I don't like those personally because you can't put as much action in the jig. The whole idea 
for me of a slow pitch jig rod is that you know when you're when you're actually working the jig slowly you're relying on the rod to put the action into the jig now if the tip in the rod is really soft it's not putting as much action into the jig like the whole idea with the slow pitch thing is you know the pitch refers to each like turn of the handle so you want each turn where the rod can recover and flick that lure up and put more action into it so if you've got a rod that puts more action into your jig you're going to catch more fish now these are just as comfortable as any other rod for fighting fish the the fact that they're that sort of parabolic design means that they will bend all the way through the reel seat um, they're super comfortable for fighting fish and obviously they've also been made with the 30 ton uh, carbon composite blanks and the same sort of helix construction so that construction technique it just gives you that little bit more stiffness and crisp you know crisp feeling in the rod so it's not so much about making the rod stiffer it's about making it crisper so there is a difference uh, in those two features in a rod now the next range that we've got is the standard jigging range so we've got a range of rods here we've got spin jig and we've got uh, one rod that we've done as an overhead so this is a p4 to six uh, it's great for really you know 50 or 80 pound braid now these are your more traditional style rods where they've got a slightly softer tip they are still uh, a parabolic design but they're not as parabolic as the slow pitch jigging and the casting rods so these are bordering a bit more on your traditional um, you know speed jigging spin rods um, your heavier sort of six foot jigging rods so same sort of blank design um, they're really designed for you know all round jigging uh, not specifically slow pitch jigging very comfortable for fighting fish uh, and there's enough stiffness in the tip to be able to work the jig really well so the last one is the inshore spin range so these are just two rods that we've got 20 to 30 pound and a 10 to 20 pound inshore spin rods uh, these have been designed obviously to be super comfortable for a whole range of inshore uh, lure applications so again these have been designed where they've got you know a little bit more softness in the tip just to allow you a bit more flexibility to work soft plastics um, you know a variety of lures they're not so focused on you know the stiffer tip application but there's still enough in the tip to make it comfortable to work lures so all of the rods in the range feature fuji guides we've gone for high quality components you know high quality reel seats all of the fittings are high quality in the range and they've really been designed to do a job so i think the point of difference with the nomad range is that we've designed you know one rod for a purpose and we're not trying to you know get six different rods in a in different price brackets it's just look go and design the best rod for the job and that's what we've done so go and check them out at a dealer have a feel of them for yourself and i'm sure you'll agree that they're uh, extremely uh, useful and extremely effective fish catching tools